Taxi drivers provide an important service to the community, but unfortunately they also have to deal with unprovoked violence. In-car cameras are catching offenders in the act, but it's hoped new technology will stop them completely. Shortly after midnight, a roadside rescue for a Gold Coast cabbie. The veteran driver viciously attacked by a passenger. He has a broken nose, um, some facial injuries, some blurred vision. The shocked driver's recovering at home. A 21-year-old man's been charged with grievous bodily harm. While the taxi industry stresses assaults aren't escalating, they are concerned about the toll on drivers. In this vision released Nine News, the unprovoked violence is clear. A passenger strikes a cabbie twice on the nose, wanting to pick a fight. The offender handed a suspended sentence and ordered to pay $1,000 to the driver. Unfortunately, too many cases end up with the offender being given a slap on the wrist. And sadly, that sends the message that their crime isn't significant. But cab drivers know the lasting effects. Next thing, bang, bang, bang. I got three big punches. 72-year-old Terry's still recovering. The former Gold Coast cabbie was bashed on the job more than a year ago. His alleged attacker due to face court again within weeks. And it's taking so long, so the toll on me has been stress, uh, operations. Cameras are mandatory in all Queensland taxis, but from next month, they'll be moving towards newer technology, including higher definition video and audio recording. And taxis have three years um, to comply, so every vehicle will be upgraded to that specification by 2018. An improvement on the current cameras, which only capture one frame per second. It might also have a deterrent effect because people know that it's not just still images, that it's actual uh, activity as it's occurring in the cabs. It's all about keeping our cabbies and passengers safe. And I appeal to the public to, to please respect taxi drivers and to look after them. Libby Stone, Nine News.